today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely little serving tray with legs. You'll find the cutting list in the description box below. So let's get started. So we're going to start by making a little pencil mark in the centre of each tray side. So first of all begin by making a little line just down the centre like that. Do that on each piece. And then turn the piece lengthways and do a little pencil dot in the centre that way. Same with that one. You can then erase the pencil line and the dot will stay there. And we're going to drill three holes across these pieces which will make our little handle. So begin with a one millimetre drill bit in your mini drill and begin by drilling a hole at either side of that little pencil dot that we've just made. And then do the same at the other side. And then drill a hole in the centre. And that central hole should join the two up but if you've still got a little bit of wood attached then put the drill back in and go along so that you're making like a little slit in the wood like that. And then do the same with the other piece. And then cut off a thin piece of sandpaper, fold it in half like that, and then you can work it into the little cut area, just to smooth that off. So work it around the inside edge like that. Do the same with the other piece. that and then bring in a piece of fine grade sandpaper and you can just sand at the front and back of the piece. And then use a little brush to get rid of the sanding dust. Still with your fine grade sandpaper, we're just going to round over what will become the top edge of each of these pieces, so the sides and the front and back. So holding the piece in your hand, just sand along each edge at a 45 degree angle. And we're just very, very gently rounding over the top corners of each piece, like that. And then turn the piece over and do the same again along the top at the back of the piece. And this just makes for a more finished look. going to construct the tray so I've got some glue here on a piece of card and I'm using a cocktail stick to apply it and we're going to begin by applying glue along each edge of the base piece pop that back down and attach the sides making sure that the rounded edge is towards the top you also want to make sure you've got a nice flush edge along each edge. It helps here if you bring in a couple of spare pieces of strip wood and just use them to push those pieces against the base. That way you'll get an even pressure all the way along. You can then slide that piece along your work surface rather than try to pick it up or you might just pull it apart and that can be left to dry for a moment. You can then apply glue along the front and back edges. Pop that back down and attach the front and back pieces, again making sure your rounded edges are at the top. Pull out the side pieces to meet them if you need to, to make sure the whole thing's square. And 
And again, you can use these spare pieces of strip wood to push that all together. Once you're holding that, you can remove the excess glue from along the inside edges. And that piece can also be left to dry. Once you've allowed enough time for the tray to dry, again, holding this in your hand, bring in your fine grade sandpaper and we're just going to round over each corner like that. So just sweeping the sandpaper from front to back. And just sort of hiding those joins at each corner. going to create a little frame from the short and long supports. So apply glue to each end of the short supports. Pop that back down on your work surface. Same with the other one. Then we're going to glue those between the longer supports. So attach one to each end of a long support, making sure you've got a nice flush line along each end. And then you can attach the other long support, creating that frame. Really carefully press that all together then once again slide that along your work surface so it's not sticking and that can be left to dry. Whilst that's drying bring in your leg pieces and we're going to make a little pencil mark one millimetre or three sixty-fourths of an inch from what will become the top of each piece and just along one edge. So just do a little line like that one millimetre from the top edge and then we're going to cut these off at an angle to give us that little angled leg. So one millimeter, three sixty-fourths of an inch, and do that at the top of each leg. And we now want to cut away an angle at the top of each piece. So we're going from the corner on the opposite edge to where we've drawn the little line and then down to the pencil line. Just like that we're making a small angle. So do that on each leg piece. So from the corner of the piece down to the little line. Just taking away that top edge. And this means that the little legs will be at an angle rather than just straight down. And then we're going to round off the other end of each of those legs. So with your fine grade sandpaper again, you just want to round off each corner. So that we're making a sort of curved bottom to the leg. So just sweep the sandpaper over the corner from front to back until it starts to round off. And that's about all you need to do just to take away that square end. So do that with each of the legs. We're now going to glue the frame to the bottom of the tray. So turn the tray over like that and then apply glue to one side of the frame. And then attach it so it's sort of sitting in the middle of the tray. 
so you've got an even border showing around each edge. Press it down. And then use a spare cocktail stick to remove the excess glue. That piece can then be left to dry for a moment. We're now going to attach the legs to the underside of the tray. So apply glue to the angled edge. And then you want to attach it so that it's sort of angling out towards the outside edges of the tray and you want to put it right in that corner so put a little bit of glue in that corner as well to strengthen it a little bit and then attach the leg so it's sitting right in the corner of that little base part press it into place we might need to use another cocktail stick here to sort of push it into position. Like that. And as you can see, the angle is going towards the outside edge. And then we want to mirror that on the other side like that. So again, apply glue, the angle part of the leg. And then in that corner. Get the leg into place and then bring in your other cocktail stick to help manoeuvre it so it's right in that corner. And you can hold it in place for a moment until the glue begins to take. And we'll remove that excess glue in a moment. But you can just turn the tray around and we can attach the remaining legs in the same way. Leave those to dry off for a moment and then we'll remove the excess glue. So once that's dried off a little bit, you can carefully remove the excess glue. And it will be tacky at this stage, but it's still easier to remove it now than by sanding it when it's dried. And then we're going to very carefully attach the leg supports. So apply a little bit of glue to each end of one of them. And then you want to position it so it's a couple of millimetres up from the bottom of the leg. And as the legs have dried, they may have sort of tried to move inwards. So if you need to just pull them apart a little bit, you can, but just be really careful if you're doing that. So get the support sort of in there and then look from the side to make sure that it looks level. And you can just do this by eye, but if you did just want to put a little pencil mark at the bottom of each leg, then you can do that just to make sure you're getting it in exactly the right place, if you're not comfortable measuring by eye. Again, you've got a little bit of time to jiggle it around, make sure it's straight. And you can judge that by making sure it's straight with the sort of bottom edge of the little frame there and then once you're happy that it's straight you can just very carefully squeeze the legs in like that and then do the same at the other end from all angles, make sure you're happy with how that's looking from all edges. You've probably still got a little bit of time to manoeuvre at this stage. Once again, leave that piece to dry off and then that will be ready to paint. Our little tray is now ready for paint.
And for mine, I'm going to use white emulsion paint and a small detailing brush so that I can get into all those little areas. Once the paint has completely dried, sand the tray using a 500 grade sandpaper. And then you can have fun dressing it, perhaps for a nice relaxing Sunday morning in bed. So that's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll have another one for you soon. Bye!